Hi guys. Long time no see, 2020 is finally over and what can I say? Selena did pretty good this year so let's repeat it quickly one more time. So, in January Selena went on vacation in Hawaii to relax one more time before jumping into 2020. A false information spread fast as a blink that she got stung by a jellyfish. She was even seen on the videos taken by the paps that she couldn't even walk. Turned out it was a fucking bee but never mind. It was a bee. Oh, it was, oh, a, bee. It was a bee. And everyone said it was a jellyfish and I was like, well that sounds The bee looked cooler. like a jellyfish? So on January 10th Selena released her highly anticipated third studio album Rare. She did a listening party and an Instagram live as well. Before that she signed over 20,000 copies of the album and even got a wrist injury of it. Anybody who ends up getting these, they're signed from me, no one else, and I'm about to do like, it's basically going to round up to 20,000. So, I don't even know if there was a point to that, but I just wanted you guys to know. Five days! Such a queen. Rare was acclaimed by many critics such as Variety and Rolling Stones. Went number one in 74 countries and was nominated for many awards. It was Selena's first consideration at the Grammy Awards alongside Lose You to Love Me, Past Life, Boyfriend and Ice Cream. However it didn't got any nominations. Billboard named Selena as one of the biggest snubs at the 2020 Scammies. Selena then announced the deluxe version of Rare with three new singles Boyfriend She and Souvenir. Plus she decided to release a single from 2016 called Feel Me because fans asked for it. Shot two music videos for Rare and Boyfriend and one hot performance video for Dance Again. Worked with various artists like Trevor Daniel for Past Life and the iconic girl group Blackpink for Ice Cream. Also the girls shot the music video separately because of the ongoing pandemic, Queens. In February Selena was really happy to announce her new makeup brand Rare Beauty. Um, so, I, the news was gonna leak, so of course I figured I would be the one to tell you first. I am launching my own beauty brand and it is called Rare Beauty. Uh, this was something uh, I started working on two years ago. The, it's not just a brand, it's going to be a lifestyle. I want girls to feel comfortable, I want um, girls and boys and men and women and everyone to enjoy it because it's, it's meant to be enjoyed, it's very special. The brand got great feedbacks and it's also vegan and cruelty free. The Rare Impact Fund aims to raise $100 million over the next 10 years to provide mental health services for underserved communities, making it one of the largest corporate mental health funds. She also appeared on the cover of several magazines. The first magazine she appeared on was in March for Dazed. Then she continued with Allure, WSJ, Interview Magazine, CR China. People Magazine, and Vogue. Selena also continues her partnership with Puma for a two-year deal. That brings her $30 million oh my god so rich. She also took her part as an activist. In the 2020 US elections she was encouraging people and especially young adults to vote. I just feel my vote counts more than ever. As a citizen, as someone who truly, truly cares about their country, not voting is just not an option. In May Selena shut down her website and gave her Instagram to the black community to serve justice for Black Lives Matter. She was named as one of the most influential people of 2020 by Time magazine. Period. In the summer Selena confirmed that she will be focusing mainly on her acting career. That doesn't mean she will stop with music, she always makes music and listening to different sounds so she is not afraid to jump to something new. She said that she is busy reading scripts and we love to see that. 
little bit of producing stuff. I've been reading a lot of scripts and obviously learning to cook. You're like, oh, during quarantine, I learned how to cook. I shot a television show. I finished my cosmetic <laughs> line and I've read 17 scripts. That's amazing. In early 2020, she produced two movies. This is the year in the Broken Hearts Gallery. She also took a role in Dr. Doolittle as a voice actor for Giraffe Betsy. Betsy, thank you for asking. We've done it! We've done it! We missed it! Okay, boss, what's our next move? She also attended the premiere of the movie with the cast. Looks like she enjoyed it. It was confirmed that she will take a lead role in the upcoming Hulu series Only Murders in the Building which already started shooting in December 2020. Its release date will be in 2021 and will have 10 episodes. It was also confirmed that she will take a role as Sylvia Vasquez in the upcoming movie called In the Shadows of the Mountain, and it is rumored that she will take a role in an upcoming psychological thriller called Dollhouse. Let's not forget Selena's iconic cooking show Selena Plus Chef. The show is also a charity work and she donated $100,000. The show was so great that it had been renewed for a second season coming in January 2021. Three. Ah. <laughs> anyway, alright, so... Anyway, so... This was pretty much Selena's 2020. We love a hard-working queen so you better save yo coins for her. Anyways so. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Hey, um, I wanted to take a time to do a quick message for you guys. Um, because I haven't been posting that much. I just wanted to let you know that uh, I love you guys and I miss you. And there's so many exciting things coming up that I can't wait to share with all of you. You know, just sending more love and kind of showing you some more of my personal stuff and what I've been doing. But thank you for being here and thank you for supporting me always. And I will talk to you soon.